Iranians have been weaving carpets for ages. The oldest carpet discovered in the world is said to have been made by Persian hands. Today, carpets are an indispensable part of our culture, and every Iranian is involved with carpets in some way or the other. There are Iranians who design carpets, those who weave them, and others who trade them in business. And of course, there are the rest of us who purchase carpets and appreciate them. When it comes to rugs, one of the first words that comes to mind is Persia or Iran. Currently, the oldest existing hand-woven carpet in the world is Iranian, and it's called Pazarik, dating back to more than 2,000 years. Through history, this delicate piece of Persian handicraft has been subject to various changes and innovations. Today, the number of styles, patterns, and different types of Iranian carpets are like the number of stars in the sky, and each one of these carpets represents a part of Iran's art and culture. The Pazirik carpet is currently kept at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. It is undoubtedly the most significant historical document that shows the importance of pictorial carpets in ancient Iran. Basically, carpets are especially designed and made to cover our floors. But despite all the magnificence of the Iranian carpet, we naturally don't pay much attention to what we step on. And that is why there have been efforts by some Iranian artists to drag the Persian rug all the way from the floor and onto the wall in front of us so that it could challenge our passion for beauty with its splendor. We have traveled to the world capital of Tableau Rugs, a place where the people's livelihood and almost everything is tied to this kind of art, the city of Sadrud in northwest Iran. Sadrud is a city with 32,000 people. و از این 32000 نفر 80 درصد مردم این شهر چه مستقیم چه غیر مستقیم به تولید تابلو فرش و صنوف مربوطه مشغول هستند روزانه بیش از 500 قطعه تابلو فرش در سایز و طرح‌های مختلف تو این شهر تولید میشه تابلو فرش را میشه گفت هنر در هنره یعنی کار مثلا استاد فرشتیان و یا یه کار استاد تندیس و ما دوباره در تابلو فرش ارائه میدیم چه هنر در هنر یعنی زیباییش به مراتب بیشتر میشه یه تابلو 50 در 70 طراحی داره رنگ آمیزی داره تنها بافتش 5 ماه طول میکشه If I'm not exaggerating nearly 8 out of 10 different shops across Sadrut city are dedicated to selling tableau rugs It is very hard to say which one is more beautiful or more sophisticated than the other one all you can do is just stand back and enjoy the psychedelic atmosphere. The tableau rugs look alive with bold and vibrant colors. Elements like depth of field and perspective are strongly visible in this art. The tableau rug first needs a pattern, a manual for the master weaver. Special software are used by experts who first take an original picture, magnify it, and then substitute the best colors for the rug, pixel by pixel. This can take months to complete. It all starts here in tiny basements like this across town, where the main materials, such as pure lamb wool, natural silk, and pure cotton are provided to produce a noble work of art. The coloring process is very important. Making a tablet rug may require more than 150 colors. One of the most difficult parts of the job is the dyeing process. Here the colorists deal with endless spectrums, because every single order is different than the other one. They only have six main colors to mix and their eyes to depend on. What happens here is this. A fine print that contains the picture of a future tableau rug and a color spectrum is delivered to the colorist. What he does is that he has to deliver threads with the same color exactly according to the sample. This is where a great part of the magic takes place, where warp, weft, art, talent, and ties are combined together to create magnificent tableaus. 
There are more than 800 workshops like this in the city of Sadrud that keep the entire population of the city occupied. To become a master weaver, one must have perfect understanding of the principles of painting in addition to exceptional skill. Creating a landscape with the tiniest details only by tying simple threads is not that easy at all. An authentic tableau rug could have up to 10,000 knots in a 7 square centimeter surface, just like this one that has already taken two years and is still nearly half finished. This is the moment when a new tableau is born. After this, it leaves the workshop, goes for the finishing, washing, framing, and then ready to go to the gallery for display. اینقدر اینا زحمت کشیده شده اینقدر اینا زنده هستن انسان خیال میکنه خودش اونجاست The experience of Sadrud was exceptional a city where the imagination had no limits and dreams came to life in frames Sadrud the world capital of tableau rugs Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Iran